Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Afifuddin. In this video, we are going to start new chapter that is limit state method. So firstly we will see introduction, then we will see limit state method, then statistical probability, types of limit state, and finally we will see comparison of working stress method and limit state method. <music> First of all, as we know that the working stress method gives the satisfactory performance at working load, but no attention is given to the condition that arises at the time of collapse. Okay, so this method does not give exact margin of safety. Later, this drawback was taken into account in ultimate load method or load factor method. But load factor method leads to excessive deflection and cracking. Therefore, a more rational approach is given by limit state method of design, which is a balanced combination of working stress method and ultimate load method. Okay. In elastic design, that is working stress method, the factor of safety was about 3 for concrete and 1.8 for steel. And working stress method fails to give maximum load on structure. It fails to give the serviceability, exact economy in the design, and idea of reserve strength of member. The actual stresses detected in the structure at the working load often differed considerably from the theoretical values. The reason is that the assumption that concrete is perfectly elastic material and which is not correct as it is more complex material and limit state method is an entirely new concept which is based on statistical probability. The limit state method can be defined as the acceptable limit for the safety and serviceability of a structure before failure occurs. This is an ideal method which takes into account the ultimate strength of a structure and also the serviceability and durability requirement. Thus, the concept of design with limited state is to achieve the acceptable probability that the structure will not become unfit for use and will not reach the limited state. The aim of this method is that the structure should be able to withstand safely all loads that are liable to act on it throughout its lifespan. And it also should be satisfy the serviceability requirement of limiting deflection and cracking. Okay, as we discussed earlier, the limiting limit state method is an entirely new concept which is based on statistical probability. A structure failure may reach limit state due to coincidental occurrence of both overload and excessive weakening of the material at the critical section. The strength of material and load are the two major factors which are subjected to considerable variations. And statistics probability of strength and load can be estimated which will be a limiting state of material strength and load. And statistical base is covered by characteristic strength and characteristic load. And the partial safety factor are introduced to reduce the probability of failure to the zero. Okay. Now we will see the types of limit state method. The most important limit state which are considered in designs are number one, limit state of collapse, and number two, limit state of serviceability. Okay. Now, firstly, we will see limit state of collapse. The limit state of collapse is reached when the structure as a whole or part of the structure collapse. Okay, collapse may occur due to the rupture of one or more member or on the account of formation of mechanism or due to elastic or inelastic stability or from the losses of equilibrium etc etc. Okay, this limit state that is limit state of collapse is taken care of by providing resistance greater than the forces to which it is subjected and keeping a margin of safety through the safety factors. 
Okay. So this limited state corresponds to flexure, shear, torsion, and axial load, or you can say that compression. Okay. So that in limit in this design, the limited state of collapse are limited state of collapse in flexure or bending. Number two, limited state of collapse in shear. Number three, limited state of collapse in torsion. And number four, limited state of collapse in axial load, or you can say that limited state of collapse in compression. Okay. Now we will see the limited state of serviceability. So what is limited state of serviceability? The limited state of serviceability is related to the satisfactory performance of the structure at working load. Okay. So this method of limited state, that is limited state of serviceability, is mainly categorized into two types. Number one is deflection. Number two is cracking. Okay. So the excessive deflection possesses number of problems to the structure. And hence, it should be ensured that the actual deflection is less than the maximum allowable deflection. Similarly, the excessive cracking spoils the appearance of exposed surface. It create, creates leakages problem, reduces stiffness of structures, etc. etc. So, the limited state of cracking should be taken care of by specifying maximum possible crack width for an important structure. Okay, now we will see the comparison of working stress method and limited state method. Okay, so first of all, in working stress method, we know that the working stress method is based on elastic theory, which assumes that concrete and steels are elastic and the stress strain curve is linear for both. But limited state method is based on the actual stress strain curve of steel and concrete. Okay, for concrete, the stress strain curve in limited state method is non-linear. Number two, in working stress method, the factor of safety are applied to the yield stress to get permissible stresses. But in case of limited state method, the partial safety factors are applied to get design value of stresses. Number three, no factor of safety used for loads in case of working stress method. While in limited state method, design loads are obtained by multiplying partial safety factor of load okay, to the working load. Number four, the exact margin of safety is not known or unknown in working stress method. While the exact margin of safety is known in case of limited state method. Number five, working stress method gives thicker section. That's why it is less economical. But in case of limited state method, it is more economical. Why? Because it gives thinner sections. And last point is, the working stress method assumes that the actual load permissible stresses and factor of safety are known. So it is called as deterministic method. While limited state method is based upon the probabilistic approach which depends upon the actual data or actual experience. Hence, it is called as non-deterministic method. Okay, so friends, this was the video about limited state method. Thank you.